Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What's That? Today we're going to be taking a look at A-Train 9 version 3. But Zat, you might be wondering, why are we taking a look at A-Train? Did we already do this? Yes, that was version 1. Version 1 is different in that you actually have to buy version 3. Some people argue that um, it should have been just simply an expansion to the original game. Uh, Art Dink argues that a lot of effort has gone into upgrading this and it's totally worth the price. If you already own a train version 1 on Steam, you will get a 50% off um, coupon to buy the newer version. But if I remember correctly, that only lasts about a month, so you need to buy it nowish when the game just came out. Um, there are quite a few updates to the game. The biggest one is uh, an addition to a lot of trains, but that's only in the Japanese version of the game. Supposedly, they're all real Japanese uh, train lines, so there's licensing involved and they didn't port over to the North American version. Um, there are some other additions to the game that might be worth it if you're really into this kind of thing. So let's take a look and uh, you guys can decide for yourself. So I'm just going to hop into a game here. Um, there are some new maps. We got version 1 maps that you've seen in the first one, uh, version 2 maps, and of course version 3 maps. Uh, the one-to-one -one icon here means that is using the new scaling that they've uh, created. All the buildings and vehicles have been rescaled to be more realistic in terms of how long it takes for something to go somewhere. And um, you can have basically more stuff in the same map. So you might have a little bit less fidelity in the train, but it really doesn't matter that much. You can pack more buildings in there. The trains seem like they're going farther. Anyways, enough talk. Let's actually hop into a game here. Uh, so start a new game. This one is a decent balance of uh, stuff to work with, but not too much that uh, I don't have room to build. Version 3, Simulation Game Railroad Management Urban Development. So you can see right off the bat here the new scaling. They actually have... Uh, no, I don't really need to see the reports. Pause the game temporarily. They actually have kind of like little uh, props that you can put down. We've got like vending machines and park benches and a mailbox. Some, this is one of the new buildings. I got another new building. It's another new building. These are all new buildings, pretty much. Uh, I think these, basically, this might be the only thing that's from the previous game that's showing right here. And then we have, hidden amongst all this, one of our train stations, a new train station. Um, I don't remember right off the top of my head, but I think the train station of this size would have been, like, equivalent to, like, um, maybe twice the size of this building. I'm not too sure. I'd have to take a look. And then if we go all the way down here, we actually have a big open space and another little town. I'll we'll just zoom around the map. we got a town over here with a really large yard. I think this is a power facility, thermal power plant, some sort of gas tank. I don't know what that does. A little bit of farms all the way over here. Got a looks like a commercial zone. I can't click on these buildings for some reason. I think if we bring up, what tool is it? This one? No, wait, yeah. Hover over. Red light district, building two. <laughs> Multi purpose. Uh, other company property. These are apartments. And all the way over here. We have some more departments, more high rises. So it's residential, sort of commercial area. Uh, I guess that's for our purposes. The farmland, lots of room for growth. Let's see what we can actually get done while uh, I show you off some of the cool new buildings. This is actually kind of a nice building. It's a new one. The um, fishing harbor. No idea what it does, but uh, it's there. A lot of this game is kind of for show. Um, I think a lot of these buildings don't necessarily do anything, but they're there for the fact that you can just add extra things. Like a lot of people do with SimCity 4. Have a lot of props just to make it look nice. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's actually go through things menu by menu. I'll show you all kind of the new stuff and then we'll actually start building. Um, tracks. Tracks, this is one thing that they uh, harp on about. Um, the new track system so there's something you could do before obviously which is just a simple switch if i build that though you can build extended switch so you can get more realistic yards by just continuing this and then another um 
The neat little thing you can do is create like a Y junction. I think if you click here and the drag out, you get this kind of junction, which is useful if you have like a single track going into a multi-track station. You can do that. And then variations between the two, mix them together, you get some complex things. There are uh, now overhead um, pulls for electric trains. I don't know if they're actually required or if they're just for show. All of the trains in the game right now don't need it because, again, they're just the basic default trains. Um, and I think that's kind of all you really have here. Road, special construction. They have a um, movable bridge. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, they have different bridge types that you can build now. Ooh, combined road and rail. Actually, that's really cool. I didn't see that before. And we've got a box truss. And then there's also, um, let me see if I remember how to do this, the different bridge types for the rail. If we go to our height controller, set height, bring it up to about there. No, and we also want to turn on allow bridge over land. So yeah, now they got brick bridges. I don't really want to build this and spend all my money. Ah, eh, we'll build a little chunk here. Let's see what it looks like. Brick bridges. Oh, that's an arch bridge, sorry. Um, can I build off this? Truss, whoops, let's try that again. Truss, truss. I think that's the default from before. And trestle. If you want different styles, and you can build them on terrain now instead of just over the water. So that's track. Stations, this is actually a really nice feature. Um, so these are the ground level stations from before. Uh, we've got different sizes. That's basically all you really had before, as well as the classification yard. Those are kind of your stations. Now they have well, elevated station was there before. Um, let's bring this back down to just ground height. There we go. They do have the larger one now though, which uh, supposedly would bring in more people. Terminal station they had before, but now they have a lot. Oh no, these are both there before. I'm getting confused now. Underground station, I think the large one is new. Uh, classification yard, you can now have a classification yard without a building there, it's just kind of a sideline. If you want to park your trains, which is a really nice thing. Rural station, uh, basically the same idea, you just have a platform for people to get on and off. A little building if you want it. Tram stops, basically a tiny little station. I imagine maybe another version of the game would have trams. There. Uh, you could probably just put like a two-car train on there, but a lot of the trains don't really go that small, so I'm not sure how useful this is. One with a roof, multi-level junction if you have a whole bunch of trains coming in from different places. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the platform length or the number of platforms on some of these stations. They're really restrictive buildings, but you can also just grab a bigger one if you want. This one has a uh, two on top, is that? Can't quite see. Let's move it over here. So that's four on the bottom, two on top. Depots, if you just want somewhere cool to store your trains. I think people used to use just classification yards before. If you want to park your trains at night off the tracks, different kinds, different shapes. And these are one of the nicer ones where they overtrack stations and squeeze them into uh, tighter places. And these ones are, are fairly adjustable, different lengths number of tracks and different uh, styles basically how you want to set up your system these are really nice buildings expensive and I don't really know if they're worth it they're just kind of for show I would imagine really big terminal stations and then the biggest one here look at the size of that thing compared to these buildings and bus stops um, a little bit of change here you now have these were the three before I think Bus terminal was there before. A single stop is basically the same as like a roadside, except on one side, if you just feel like it. I wonder if it costs less. This is 85, and this is, yeah, it costs the same. And then just a little sign, if you want to choose that instead. I think these all, yeah, it's also easy. 85, just for uh, style sake. Loading bays, I think, has, I think these are all the same before. I'm not sure if the pull-in existed there before. Distribution center definitely did. Trains. Um, do, 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 buy a train. 
So these are all the defaults. Nothing new here except for this guy, which is, um, again, basically just for show. Doesn't hold a lot. Goes slow. It's just if you feel like having a steam train. They do have these nice categorization buttons. If you have a lot of trains you need to sort through, you don't right now. Um, place for custom trains, I imagine maybe mods would go there. Uh, they potentially could go here too. Um, what does go into the custom section is if we go over to, well, custom, create a passenger train. You can actually mix and match the cars now to a limited extent. I can't put like a um, freight train front or mix the cargo with passenger trains, but you can kind of mix them together. The top speeds are based off of, from what I've seen experimenting, the um, the first car, your engine. So you can potentially put a really expensive engine with some really high capacity cars and get a super train. Uh, but I don't know how that would really work in the game because a lot of the ticket price comes from the speed and the cars, so I don't really know. You'd, you'd have to kind of tweak around to see if it was actually making you money. Uh, moving on, buses and trucks. I don't think there's anything really new here. No, this looks the same to me. Yeah, uh, same idea. Choose the different types. Constructions, this is where a lot of the new items are. Um, you have some more, what are these? Railroad storage yards. I don't think these do anything. I think they're just for show. They do cost a lot of money though. This looks pretty cool. It's like a train factory. You can actually build your trains. I don't imagine it's like transportation enabled so you can actually hook up your tracks to it. Uh, electrical substations, a water tower, a railroad forest. I don't know what that means. I imagine it's just forest you put next to your rail. Oh yeah, it's got little uh, fences there. That's cute. Crew station, or switching station maybe. Oh, it's got a little medical bay. What's going on down there? Oh, it's Japanese of course. Uh, railroad crossing station, if you need someone to control it. Uh, oh, a rail yard. It's literally a, rar a yard with rail in it. Taxi stand, and that's it there. And these aren't headquarters, of course. They're just miscellaneous items stuffed in there. This is all the same. Power plants, same. Apartment buildings. Uh, I think there are some new ones here, definitely. Yeah, these are definitely new. That's a good mix of these. Well, it's pretty fancy. Shops. Mm, yeah, I think these are new shops. Got these, a Chinatown, city center shopping, little uh, pedestrian pathway. Bicycle parking. That's that's interesting. Parking garage, noodle shop, pet shop, a whole bunch of things. Um, hotels. Ooh, a ship hotel. That's a cruise ship, basically, right? Does that go in the water here? How does this work? Doesn't like it. Uh, this is a drive-in theater. It just says drive-in. I guess drive-in restaurant. Oh, it's a hotel. It's a motel. Campsites. Office buildings. Some more of these. Ooh, interesting angled ones. That's really cool. Never saw that before. So you can get some uh, angled roads and actually put buildings next to it. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Uh, Multi-story buildings. These ones take time to build because you just build. Ooh, I almost built that building. They build the base and then they build up. Um, different sizes leisure facilities got some new circus karaoke amusement arcade a fishing pond a go-kart track it's interesting the the range of buildings that they put in here horse racing a festival what kind of festival is this just a generic oh it's oh okay it's like a, a drum festival Japanese festival a studio park 
for filming or something? Wow, that's interesting. A Western style theme park. Oh yeah, whoa. Apparently Western style theme parks are mostly boats. Oh, did that almost want to get placed? Yeah, I don't, oh, it's flashing. I don't think it likes it. Where does this go? It's just glitching out, disappears. Anyways, that looks pretty cool. But I'm not sure where you would put that. Sports facilities, bowling alley, pool, tennis court, lots of different buildings, cultural centers. I'm kind of curious how much of this pops up on its own versus what you have to place. I mean, some of them are pretty expensive. Optical observatory for space, or maybe they're just looking at you. Dinosaur museum. Uh, some additional manufacturing industry. Blast furnace. Ooh. The models in this are really nice. I like the texturing and the modeling. The lighting might be a little harsh, but otherwise it's good. Some landmarks. I think there's some additional landmarks here. Uh, the clock tower, communications tower, a neo tower. I don't know how many of these are real and how many of them are just made up. Windmill. I believe the color denotes the version of the game that it came with. So the gray ones are version one. Blue is version two. Uh, oh, no. That couldn't be right because there's too many colors. Castle tower. Coast tower. An observation tower. Whoa, look at this thing. How the heck does that work? This is like uh, from Contact, the movie. Harbors, um, same stuff here except with the fishing harbor, public buildings, mm, various public buildings, children's traffic park, <laughs> place where you learn to drive, I guess. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's cool. It's um, a train. Why are they called a traffic park? That's weird. A wooden school building, plazas. So there's a lot of cool things that you can build. Uh, if you want to just build, you could just go into sandbox mode. And then finally, yeah, there's the uh, the small items like mailboxes and disaster supply storage or a garage, essentially. Disaster prevention speaker for those tsunamis, subway entrances, little vending stalls. So it's nice that they have this kind of stuff in the game if you feel like decorating an area. I don't know if it's really worth the price, but uh, for 50% off, plus there was 15% off on launch. So I got it for about $25, which to show you guys what's going on, is definitely worth it for me. Um, anything else here? Trains we looked at, constructions we just looked at. There is now the ability to adjust the terrain in game instead of doing it in just the scenario. Um, and it's a little expensive, but at the same time, you can also cancel what you're doing. So I can make a mountain, say, oh my goodness, I can't afford that. And cancel? Yeah, cancel. Undo proceed? Yes, undo proceed. And that's done. Which is good if, you know, you have some train tracks or city you want to build, and there's just a little bit of train in the way, because this game is very sensitive to uh, terrain. Uh, constructions, I think these are the same as before. Kind of having maglevs and sense. Oh, I'm not even going to try because I'm going to say that wrong. Airport. Interesting thing about the airport is, is the, the blue squares here. You can't build sort of inside of them because that's the path of the plane. So you got this huge swath of uh, land you can't really touch on both sides. I think the new railroad museum is new the second one but I could be wrong that's where you can just place some trains if you happen to have them uh, the market this is all the same as far as I can tell reports again yeah just your basic reports um, not I think there are some new options but maybe not anything worth mentioning at least nothing I really noticed anyways let's actually uh, do something here so we've got a little town over here We've got a little farmland, We've got our production area, and two larger districts over here. So it's probably easier for us to connect to these two. I don't know why it wiggles around like that here. Let me clean that up. 
just for perfection's sake. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, actually make some money. We do already have a station there and a little station here. What is it covering, though? This part of the town? Hmm, that might work. Um, we could also potentially put, like, a bus route through here. Yeah, let's just um, connect these two stations. I'm going to get rid of the current train. Let's unpause this. Train. I'm going to remove you. Back, um, what's going on here? I'm still in Dubai. Remove. Uh, I'm going to even sell it. Now I found playing this game that the less people you have on the line, kind of the more expensive the train you want because people are going to pay more for their tickets so you can get more out of those fewer people. Um, so let's go for, I find the AR7 is kind of a good mix because I want something that's short. This goes down to five. Well, this is the minimum is six. This is high capacity. So this would hold 472. This only holds 390. It goes a fair amount faster, so people are going to pay more for the luxury of high ceiling, wider interior, and leather chairs. So let's confirm this purchase. Hopefully the stations are big enough to actually hold this thing. Place the train. Uh, actually, going to pause this. Gonna turn it around. Place it. There's only one track, eh? Okay. And I should have all of my interface no scheduling options on. Yeah. Detailed timetables, I want all these features. So I can go schedule. Oh yeah, temporary timetables are something new. So you can have it running, say, uh, a normal schedule on weekdays, and then a different schedule on weekends, or on holidays. Or oh, maybe not holidays. Yeah, I guess holidays, because you can choose down here, holidays. Spring, or even just by month. I guess... Um, because if you're dealing with tourism, it'll really fluctuate depending on the type of tourism. Um, but I'm just doing a regular commuter route, so I want every month, every day. I could even just say like weekdays. That might help a little bit. Passengers can get on and off. Direction I want this thing to turn around when it gets here. And I want it to set a departure time. Yeah, I want it to departure time. I want you to leave at 8 o'clock and then stop at 2100 hours so that you're not running at the night time. And it's for, well, we only have the one track, only got the one train. And then I can copy this from this train. This is not a new feature. Go over here. A little bridge here. Go over here and paste. It'll take all of the same attributes. And we can run. But it's the middle of the night, so not much is going to happen. I really do want to fix this wonky line. Um, so let's go rail, remove. This should be an easier way of doing... Oops, did I just build? Oh, delete overhead wire pole. Yeah, that's not what I want. I think there's a bulldozer tool somewhere. I don't remember where it is, though. Control camera, grid, hide menus. I don't remember where the bulldozer tool is. I can get all rid of a whole bunch of time. Oh well. Let's just uh, click madly away at this train track. So I want to go up to about here. That's fine. I'm going to go lay. And then I guess I need to get rid of one extra piece here. And then we should be able to just connect these directly. Like so. Fix. I fix it into place. And play again. Oh, there is one new feature. Wait, why is it going? It's only two in the morning. Should not have left. I don't understand why that happened. Oh, I need to set it a timing, so it's gonna Wait, half an hour? I'll do that over here too. Otherwise, I don't think it works properly. Half an hour. There we go. And five in the morning. What was I going to do again? I was going to build a... I don't remember. 
Oh, I was going to show you something. <laughs> I completely forget what it is, though. Oh, yes. Okay. The train. Uh, we now have a camera in camera mode, which is one of these items. This one here. And it'll actually follow the train around in a separate window if you want to uh, watch your trains in a separate window. I think I'll close this. You can also remove everything except for your windows. And then there's also this button too to do the same thing without the camera and camera. So is this actually making money? Let's go to train status. It looks like it's fairly full. This is how much it's costing. This is how much making. So yeah, this train's making money. This one's actually working quite well, even though it sort of left off time. That was something that took me a long time to learn about this game, is that you don't necessarily want to go the cheapest trains for the shortest routes. Uh, people will pay a lot more for luxury and speed. Yeah, it is Japan, and they have to go to a lot of places to work. Um, if you do want shorter routes, it's much more efficient to build um, some buses. We even have a bus terminal here, so let's um, build some buses to go around this part of town. I'm just looking if there's stops as well already. I can't really tell. I don't think so. Let's just stop lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any bus stops around here. So I'll just make a quick route. Going... I want to go station, bus stop, let's just use the single, let's go double, this guy, and um, put one here, put one in, I don't know how far these stations actually grab people, I mean with the train stations it gives you a radius. It even gives me a radius around the storage yards. But the bus stops leaves me guessing. I imagine it's a similar size. I'm going to put one... Whoops. Um, I can cut through here. Up here. I should actually be pretty lucrative with all the shopping up here. Over here. Over here. Yeah, even there. And one here. I've got this, and I'll even even it out by putting one in the middle of the road here. Now I don't know if the modeling for the stations and the buildings have changed because originally it seemed like when a train took off, it would grab based on what the buildings could produce at that time. Now it seems like people will actually pile up a little bit because the more trains I would run, um, the fewer would be in any particular train. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but I do feel like there is a slightly different simulation. Oh, where'd these buses come from? <laughs> where did they come from? I guess there was already a route going on here? There must be another stop somewhere. Okay, let's go um, option, interface, no, nope. system, display. Highlight my buildings. And it does not highlight the bus stops, unfortunately. Okay, we'll just follow this guy around. Where are you going to go? I mean, it, it, it's working. I do have the extra stops. We should also go um, train. Buses and trucks status, yeah. Okay, so they go up to the power plant. Whoa, where, oh, they go like to the next town. Wow, that seems like a real waste. That's why I didn't see them for a long time. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Remove. Which one are you? Also, this train is going the wrong way. What is going on here? I thought I had told you. Train number one. Reverse. It's supposed to turn around when you get there. Hmm. Clear copy. 
It's the only train I have. It should turn around. So I don't know how it ended up going over that way. Temporary timetable is on for some reason. Uh, that might be part of it. It might be running this instead. Do nothing? How do I turn this off again? Oh. I am now confused. Extra service. Suspend. That turns it off. There we go. Okay, now it should be running this all the time. Now it should stay over there. Let's make sure it's not happening over here at the station, too. Temper timetable is off. Okay. Good. Gotta watch out for that stuff. Back to the buses. You there. Where did you come from? Bus number one, remove. What? How come there's so many buses? All? This is, uh, oh, that's a truck. I don't know what you're doing. You just keep doing your thing. The trucks... That's a different matter entirely. I want... Let's um, actually take a look at bus and trucks. Actually see where they are here. I don't want train window. Okay, play. Follow mode. That's a container truck. That's fine. You are down over there. Yeah, I don't want you to be over there. Remove. So those were the three buses. What kind of bus is this? Just a st Okay, that's a fine bus to use. So all we actually really need to do is adjust um, where they're turning. Kind of close this. So let's keep an eye on our train here. Even though I can't see it, there it is. Yeah, now it's actually waiting. Okay, that's good. So it's going to go up this way, and I actually want them to turn here. Uh, I want to leave that alone. Junction. No, oh, no, oh, it's the wrong thing. This. Turn left. Go this way. Straight. And left. Straight, that's a turn. I think they're already going straight through there. Okay, that'll make them just go in a circle. I'll grab those two buses again. Um, is that for all of the buses? Oh, yeah, I gotta make sure it's for everyone, right? Okay, turn left. Apply to all buses. Although that's not actually where I want them to go. Straight, apply to all buses. Here, turn. Yeah, up left apply to all. Straight should be the default. Left apply to all. And around. Okay. Train. But bus. Place. This that's a truck. I should have not actually done anything with you. Bus. Place. Going this way, I have to remember that the roads are reversed compared to what I'm used to. Driving on the right instead of the left, being these are in Japan. And I could also set a timing on this. Um, let's do the same thing we did with our train. Schedule. Service. Nope. Um, passengers. Wait. There we go. Time. Departure time, make it maybe earlier, 7 o'clock. Um, they'll wait here half an hour if they happen to get here, and then they're going to stop at 2100 hours. And then they can keep doing their stops while we'll waiting here. Actually, do need to do something a bit different here, because I don't want all of us leaving at the same time. So that is bus number... Three and five, right? Three and five, okay. So let's, um, that's number five I set for seven. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna go over to bus three, paste it, except I'm gonna make you leave at six o'clock. 
And I'm gonna get another bus. Road. Uh, nope. Not that. I wanna go train, which is kinda confusing. Buy. I'll get a similar one, the blue fancy one. Inter interurban bus. Uh, confirm purchase. I'm gonna place them down. Going this away. And we'll also go to bus number six. Paste, except you are now leaving at eight o'clock. Eight, 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 eight o'clock, eight o'clock. And that'll space them out a little bit. We could probably put some more in there, but that'll do for now. So I'm not sure how much further I'm gonna go with this. I just kinda wanted to give you guys a quick preview of what was new in this version of the game because I noticed uh, a bit of an uptick on views on my current video for people that probably saw it on Steam and were wondering what it was. So this is the current version of the game with all of the upgrades. Um, it is a little expensive on Steam right now. Um, apparently people are saying that because Japanese games are tend to be more expensive, I think it's almost equivalent to $100 in Japan, this game is that if they were to sell it for cheap on Steam, a lot of people would just go to Steam and, you know, get it gifted to them or something. So it's probably going to stay high for a little while since the game came out only a few months ago in Japan. Um, it's probably worth waiting to for the Steam winter sale. It will probably come up soon. Um, but if you do have that 50% off gift certificate, you might want to consider using that now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Was That. If you enjoy episodes like this, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I will catch you all next time. Take care.